Hi guys, it's Nintendo 13 coming at you with another pickup video. Uh, this one I was really excited about quite a few of the items that I got. Um, I don't know, it's it was uh, to me some of the most you know important stuff that I could have gotten. So it was something I'm definitely looking forward to sharing on here. Um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna start right off the bat because I know that my mom watches these videos but only if there's something of interest to her so she hates the video game stuff whatever so I told her I'd do this right off the bat um my buddy Rob gave me a a pound puppy a couple gave us a couple pound puppies uh, a couple weeks ago some mini ones and one of them was missing an eye and I uh thought it would be really really awesome to have her give him an eye patch so she made him a little leather eye patch he goes all the way around and with all the patches on his back his name is now patches she gave him little dog tags and licenses yeah really neat but uh i want to show that off because that was just really cool she did a great job and my little one-eyed dog so thank you ma appreciate it now you can shut off the video and go do something else because i know you're not going to watch the rest of it to everybody else that's sticking with me, I have some good pickups to show. So, let me start with my one and only yard sale find, which is pretty cool because it's the end of the season and there's just no yard sales anywhere. So I saw this sitting on the table, little pouch, and of course pop it open. Had no price on it, and uh, inside of it was the purple, atomic purple Game Boy Color. Okie dokie. Inside was a copy of, uh, where is it, there, Tom and Jerry. Good condition, everything works on this, this is fine. But, uh, the battery compartment, it's got no cover, it's got a lot of corrosion on one of the port, on one of the connectors. And if you can see up here in the corner, somebody chewed on it, like, it's all into the screen, and on the back, Somebody chewed on it really good. I don't know if it's going to play. It's got bite marks all over it. Lady wanted five bucks for it. I said no. There's, it's probably not going to play because that's into the screen. But I could use the board for something maybe as parts. She gave it to me for a buck. Couldn't complain about that at all. The pouch and the game were worth that. I was just bummed that it didn't, you know, it wasn't a decent one. But that was all that she had for game stuff. So, whatever. Okay, let me get to, um, I, I'll get to the GameStop, or Game, or shoot, blah, blah, blah. it's one of those days. I'm still all whipped, I just got done doing my Mario Mario, or Mario, see I can't think, I cannot think straight right now. I just got done doing my Dance Dance Revolution Mario mix, um, if you haven't checked it out, go look at it, it was a video right before this one. Okay, but anyway, Goodwill. Yeah, that's the place. I had a couple of really neat finds over there. I picked up this bobblehead Megatron. He's really neat. He's got posable arms and... Uh, pretty cool. Um, it's a Funko brand from 2009. That was four bucks. Figured it'd look good on my shelf. Or Rob will end up taking it from me. Picked this up for four bucks also. It's a plush R2-D2, and he apparently is a backpack, and he's got a little zipper up here. Well, I really don't know what all he'd hold. It doesn't have very deep of a pocket, but it's got one little pocket up there. I don't know, but we just couldn't turn it down for the four bucks, like new condition. Then, uh, this one, this hurt. So, my local Goodwill is going through em um, employee problems to where all of the managers are really mean and the employees are getting screwed and it's a bad situation and I really like them up there so I really sympathize with what they're going through so in having these new people they're going stupid on some of their pricing all their games are still out there for $1.99 except when this one showed up in the showcase I wish I would have left a sticker on there but showed up in the showcase for $11.99 Eleven ninety nine. Are you kidding me? Nothing is ever that expensive unless it's a console. So 
The one girl couldn't do anything about it. I think she's on thin ice anyway. Um, about, you know, being more than the two bucks. But um, inside, it, and right now it's empty. I, I kept this. I'll explain about where the stuff went. But um, inside here was just the Mario in great condition and uh, Wii Sports with minor scratches. So she said that because it had two games in it, she'd go three ninety nine. Absolutely fine. I was okay with that, and it actually did me some good. Some some good. Yeah, I really can't talk. I, I that game that I just did that whipped me. I, obviously, I'm out of shape. Okay, so yeah, I ended up getting that for four bucks. Okay, then they had this way. This was just a couple days ago. They had this Wii. It's missing the the port cover. Okay condition. It's got some scratches. Nothing bad. And there's the sticker right there. Eleven ninety nine. This is actually sitting on the shelf in the toy section. That never happens. It was all taped up. In it, I was really excited. This was in it. Advertised the one game that came with it. Dance Dance Revolution Disney uh, Grooves. This is quite an expensive version of the DDR. It also came with two dance mats. Um, both of them Konami. One was used before once or twice, and the other one was still in the box. I just pulled them both out because we were using those to dance that video. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to give one to Mom so that you know when the kids come over on the Wii and stuff, they can play some of the dance games. Because it turned out to be a lot of fun. Anyway, so I get home and open this. And that's what I have. Nothing. No, it was not in the system. Really bummed about that. And the system came with no cords, no controllers, no nothing. So, um, yeah, eleven ninety nine. Still a decent deal. I popped it on, and I actually found one of my first ones like this. This one had games downloaded onto it. Um, just off of the, um, the Wii channel, where you order the games, you pay like five or ten bucks for them. But it has, um, Mario Brothers 1, 3, Donkey Kong Country, Frogger Returns, um, Tetris Party, Dr. Mario DX or something like that, um, Mario Party 2, which is really cool because I don't have that one in my collection yet again. Uh, I think that might have been all the games that were on there. Oh, and there was a Super Nintendo uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, Super Nintendo Mario Kart. So it was a great selection of games on there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Wii yet. I really don't. I don't need another white one. Um, and I don't know. I already have all the games except for Mario Party 2. Well, I don't know, maybe that'll be just a good selling point when I do go to get rid of it. So, whatever. It was still a really good deal. I've, I've never found one with games on it. Okay, let me move on to... I got two more uh, people that I got stuff from. My buddy Rob, he went out of state. He went to uh, Missouri to go visit some family and hit up some flea markets and stuff while he was down there. He found me a game that I didn't have and he knew I wanted. Uh, I needed this for my collection. Very happy to get Mario Super Sluggers and a lot of glare. There you go. And that is complete. It's in beautiful condition. It really is. I'm very happy to have this. He got me that and uh, this. It's the Quick Shot 12 joystick. Um, it's an official aftermarket brand. But uh, I have one, one like this and it uh, didn't have the box, but this one has the box and everything. It's not in bad shape, but uh, the controller's in there. Looks really good. So this will this is about the same condition as my Advantage box con uh, controller. So this will look good on the shelf by that. Uh, I traded for both of those. I traded my Little Nemo Dream Master for the NES. I was really bummed to give that one up because it's the only one that I had. I, it's out of my collection, and I wasn't wanting to get rid of it, but, you know, if I want cool stuff like this, sometimes i got to pay the price. This one, you saw it in the thumbnail. 
I am so extremely happy you guys can't even understand. The most common game of the series, Mega Man 2. I have been wanting this so bad, and I've never been able to find it. Yes, it's on eBay. Of course it's on eBay. But nobody that I'm in person with anywhere ever has this one. Uh, I've come across three and didn't buy it because two is the one I'm looking for. This actually finishes... When I was a child, my first run of games that I had on my first system, I had 12 games. This was the 12th one that I needed. So my childhood collection is now fully complete. For that one, I actually hooked him up with a really good deal. Um, while he was down there um, at those flea markets, he also picked up a copy of Dragon Warrior 1. I told him, hold on to that, and I gave him my copy of Dragon Warrior 2 with the manual. Um, that way, he's got a nice game in his collection, and I, I only wanted the box. I mean, yes, it's a nice $30 to $40 game, but I know he overpaid for this when he was in Missouri. He paid $35 bucks for it. It's got some label damage. I'll definitely be upgrading it later on, but as far as that, I've already run through it and played it and did not get as far as I thought I would, but the nostalgia is all there, and it surely wasn't the same playing on the GameCube version. So I'm very happy to finish off that collection. Okay, so that was the end of his stuff. Now I have two more groups here from the same person. Um, this guy, he owns a computer store downtown, not the one I used to work at, but a different one. And he called me up and said, hey, I've got a bunch of Wii games you want to come take a look at. So I went down there, and for a GameCube, I traded him a GameCube, I got four Wii games. Um, one of them Mom is holding right now. I let her borrow it. It's called um, um, I'm drawing a blank. It's the oh man, it's the scuba diving one for the Wii. I can't think of the name for it, and I feel like an idiot. Um, it's the one where you're just swimming around. Endless Ocean. That's it. Yes. The first Endless Ocean. So that was in there. I thought that'd be pretty neat just for, uh, kicking back and relaxing. And then, uh, I knew this was on Sarah's want list, which of course puts it on mine. But anyway, we got a copy of Nancy Drew, the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. She loves these point and click adventures and we love to find anyone that's out there. She's got it in her system right now. She was playing this last night and absolutely loves it. So, very happy to finally get her a Nancy Drew. And then I got uh, one game that was on my list, mainly for her to play. Uh, this was a hell of a score. I mean, all this for the GameCube, I got a really good deal. But I got Fragile Dreams, a fair, or Farewell Ruins of the Moon. Been looking for this for a while. It's not too expensive at GameStop if you can find it in. They don't hardly ever have one. Not with being Wii. But uh, yeah, that's uh, touch 35, 40 bucks anymore. It's a really good one though. And the big one, no, I guess that one's like 30. This is the 35 to 40. The big one in here is one I don't even need, but I said yes, please. That is last story. Fantastic game. I absolutely love it. Part of the Project Rainfall. This is complete and in beautiful condition. Let me double check the disc. Everything else is mint. Oh yeah, there's not even a smudge or a fingerprint or piece of hair on it. Um, it might never have been used. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to use it in a trade or something. So if, you know... Hit me up, let me know. It's a great game. I just don't need it. And, um, yeah, I could definitely use something for it. Okay, so I was there talking to him, Corey, the guy at the computer store. Oh, wait, I got one more thing. I was wrong. This is sitting down here and here. I love to ramble and jump back and forth. Don't you love that? Um, let me just say a localish game stop. I have some buddies that work there. I saw this awesome gold PS3 controller sitting on the shelf, and they were very kind enough to swap it out for my red one. Been looking for the gold one for a long time, and to be able to trade it for one that I already have, that's so great. 
So, yes, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay. Um, no, that doesn't go with that either. Well, I'm just screwing all up. Okay, whatever. You guys are still here. You're listening. Okay, so I saw something else in the store when I was there. And he mentioned, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I have this. And I'm like, oh, my God. What do you need for it? So, uh, we worked out a deal on it. And it cost me, uh, 60 bucks cash and a chunk of games. A few, um... A couple high price games. Uh, I will tell you guys, Knights of the Round was one of those games. Now, I was happy to see it go because of what it got me. And that was my whole idea. That was a game that I only wanted to let go if it was something that I really, really wanted. Well, those couple things and that 60 bucks, that put that on my bedroom shelf. I got me a PS4. It's got a few scratches on the black part. You can see that. It's still scratched up. Uh, mostly smudges. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so ecstatic about this. I've been wanting PS4 for quite a while. It, you know, it was one of those, eh, I don't really care if I get one or not. Until Dragon Quest Builders started showing up. And I've never played Minecraft before at all. No, I watched Haley play it a little bit. It's not my thing. It's not my bag, baby. But I saw Dragon Quest Builders, and oh my god, I absolutely love the series, and I wanted to play this game so bad. So I've been on a push to find a PS4. Boom! I finally got one. It's only the 500 gig, which is totally fine, because I don't need it for a whole lot of stuff. But it did come with one game. It came with... Uh, Need for Speed Rivals. I hear this is actually pretty decent. Still fairly expensive at GameStop used. It's like 23 bucks or something. 25 But uh, I'm not even interested in playing this. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. It came with two controllers. That was the real big selling point too. Yeah, one controller is great, but these things are so damn expensive that um, for the price, I really could not beat picking it up with two controllers. So, yeah, very, very neat to have one of the, the limited colored ones and the original black one. And uh, I actually rented uh, Dragon Quest Builders because it just came out on the 11th, and it's 60 bucks. and I don't spend $60 on Wii, game, or Wii U games. I'm not going to do it on a PS4 game. But I can rent it. So I've been playing that, and it's so cool. It, it's, it's really awesome. My first time ever even touching a controller for a PS4. Excuse me. So yeah, I've been loving that. Now, to get back to the part where I took these two games, Mario Kart Wii and um, Wii, or, uh, Wii Sports, took both those into GameStop, and I traded in for a game that I've also been having my eye on. I've been watching and watching and watching. Well, the price dropped down for the used copy. Hell, the reg the original or the brand new one is only twenty bucks. I'm like, what? It was like twenty six for the used one, like two weeks ago. But anyway, that is Dragon Quest Heroes. This is the day one edition. Maybe that's why it dropped in price. But uh, this is really really neat. Um, I don't know anything about the the how do you collect the in game stuff, the bonus content, maybe it came with a card that I can't get so I can't do anything with it. I don't know. I don't know anything about the new system games. Um, it did come with the, the paperwork that shows all their moves. And this is really awesome to bring back all the characters from Dragon Quest VIII also. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's, I mean, I like the game, but to me it's just like um, Hyrule Warriors but using Dragon Quest characters. So, it's a little odd for me. I'm used to the turn-based battles. And, uh, I don't know. I'm still going to play it. I'm going to enjoy it, especially seeing... I got that as a straight-up trade for those two games. And I paid $4 for the two games and kept the Mario Kart case. So, it was all a huge bonus. But that's where my fun's at right now, is just 
burning through that PS4 and having an absolute blast doing so. That thing is just crazy. And um, we just recently, a month ago, ended up get, going from a 15-inch uh, TV to a 42-inch TV. So, uh, you know, flat screen, huge thing. So it just it's incredible in the bedroom to sit there and play on those the that awesome TV and this awesome system and now don't get me wrong I'm still playing my Earthbound and I know that I said I wouldn't play anything else in depth uh, in the meantime but uh, yeah well it's on a different system and the other one's a rental so what am I gonna do <laughs> but. Um, I am still, I, I just, I want to share this stuff with you guys, get this video out. It, that really blew my mind. I mean, a few of the Wii games I knocked off my list, um, especially, I mean, this game right here. I mean, I don't know if you guys understand how much something like this means, unless you too are rebuilding your lost childhood. To come up with the very last game that I needed... One that just does not show up anywhere for me. It's ridiculous. But hey, at least I'm not, I wasn't looking for Mega Man 5, because God knows I'm not spending that kind of money on it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for checking this out. And I'm really excited to go and kick back and oh, relax and do some uh, building in my uh, little town. So yeah, I don't even know where the, there it is. All right. Still, uh, my head's still all spinning from that game. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking this out. And I'm sure I'll see you really soon. I think I have a... Don't I have another video I gotta do? I don't know. I thought I had another video I had to do. I guess not. Maybe that was the only two that I had left. But you'll still see me again this week. You know it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.